Hi guys, it's me again. Today we're going to be making another scratch project. In this scratch project, we're going to be making a ping ball game. In this game, if the ball touches this paddle, we get a score. But if the ball touches the red line, well, well, the game stops. I'll show you how it works. Notice that the score over here is 3 from the last time I played. But when I'm going to be clicking that green flag, it's going to come back to 0. Look, see? So if the ball is touching the paddle, it's bouncing away. But if I let it touch the red line, like this, well, we have to start again. So now that you know how the game is going to work, let's go and build it. Okay, so now I'm back with a new project. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click, since we don't want this cat sprite, we're going to click on the scissors and then click on the sprite to delete it. Now we're going to get a backdrop. So click on this image view and go down to Neon Tunnel. And click it and press OK. Now we're going to add a sprite. Our sprite is going to be this ball. Press OK. Now we're going to add a paddle, right? So let's go down to get a paddle. Then now that we've got it, now before we do anything else, just remember the red line I showed you. To get that red line, we're going to click on the stage, go to backdrops, and uh, over here, click on the red color. Then increase the line width to full. Now click on the line to make a line. Here's a tip. Before making a line, all, uh, press shift key to make the line straight. Okay, that went a little wrong. So there, mine worked. So here's our red line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ball and click on ball. Now we're going to go to script. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and um, take this go to X and Y. We're going to change that 95 to 20 and change that 44 to 160. Now we're going to go to control and take a forever block. And now we're going to go back to motion and take move 10 steps. And instead of 10, we're going to change it to 15. And we're also going to be taking if on edge, then bounce. And as I told you last time, you always need a when a green flag or whichever one you want over here. Now, we're going to go stay in the ball and we're going to take this forever. After we take forever, let me zoom this in for you. After we take forever, we're going to take if dash then. After taking that, we're going to go to sensing and touching. We're going to take this block. But instead of mouse pointer, we're going to be taking paddle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to sound and play sound pop. But instead of pop, we're going to just go to sounds first and go here to the sound library. Now we're going to be taking water drop. Water drop is here. And press OK. Now we're going to go to scripts. And instead of pop, we're going to go water drop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to motion. And turn right 15 degrees. But instead of 15, we're going to... But instead, we're going to be taking, go to, going to operators and take pick random, 1 to 10. But instead of 1 to 10, we're going to write 
160 to 200. Now we're going to be taking a new 15 steps. But instead of 10, we're going to write 15. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to control and get a weight one second. Instead of one second, we're going to write 0 0.5 seconds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take another if-then block and place it right here. And over here, we're going to go to sensing and taking if touching color. But instead of that, we're going to take red. If touching color red, then go to control and take stop all. But instead of all, we're going to be writing other scripts in this sprite. And we're going to go to uh, books and say start again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to control and take wait one second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take another star ball. And we're going to keep it star ball. And again, we're going to have to take the green flag weight. Now, for the script, for the paddle. We're going to go to paddle and take when, when green flag clicked. And I'm going to go to control and take a forever. And put... Sorry, we're going to go to motion and we're going to put set x to 0. But instead of 0, we're going to go to sensing and take mouse x. Okay, so now we're going to go to, now we are going to create that, uh, remember that score I showed you? So for that, we're going to go back to ball. And we're going to go to data. Then we're going to click on make a variable and write score. And make sure it's uh, ticked on for all sprites and click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take set score to zero. And put it under when green flag clicked. Then we're going to go to change score by one and put it under forever and in between if touching paddle then. Okay? Sorry guys, made a mistake. This change score by one should be if touching paddle on. And then put it back. Now let's see if it truly really is working. Make sure you put this like over here. Now let's see if it's working. Looks like it's working. Don't let it touch the red line. Oh no. Okay, so that's how you make this ping pong game. Okay, so if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe it. And don't forget to click the bell beside the subscribe button to get all our latest notifications. Thank you. Bye-bye.